Hey guys, Kiguru here, and today I want to talk about an application called Evernote, and it's a really, really cool application, and I'm just going to open up right here, uh, Evernote. So, what is Evernote? Obviously, it's uh, something, uh, and their catchphrase is, let me just open up their main page here, and their main saying is, remember everything, uh, and it's really uh, what it is, it helps you remember everything by syncing stuff to the web, or, uh, you know, to the cloud, or whatever you want to, you know, say. And you can pretty much access it from anywhere. The web, your desktop, your phone. It's really, really great. Now, Evernote, obviously, you can, you know, it's great for just remembering notes. Or, you know, anything of that sort. Like, anything you want to really remember. It's kind of like, you know, if you've heard of the service called Remember the Milk. It's type of like a reminder service all meshed up in one where you're, it's your big database where you can find everything, you know, bookmark stuff. It's really, really cool. I'm going to show you some of its cool features here. So, uh, first off, let's go over what is it actually. We just went over that. It's a huge, awesome, awesome note taking application. And it does, you know, you think notes are just, you know, little things you jot down a notepad or whatever. But no, this really takes, you know, it really goes the extra miles. So, how does it work? So, um, again, you can use it by your desktop or the web. I am using it by the desktop. You just sign up for an account. And it says, welcome to Evernote. Now, this is what the interface looks like. Really, really great. And you can, you know, customize it as you want. Now, you get a monthly usage. You can, you know, go for the paid service. But, you know, the free service is, you know, great enough. It doesn't, you know, if you're simple with your notes. But if you do tend to go over the limit, you may want to consider getting an account if it's really that useful to you. I just started using it a couple of days ago. Or not a couple of days ago, but uh, I got it. Uh, it says here, last time I, the first time I got it was 928. So not, too, you know, a couple of months back. But I've just been using it as of recent. So you can insert out your notebooks here. You can have tags. You can get what they call attributes to your notes and stuff like that. So when it was created, last modified, stuff like that. Your saved searches. And you have your trash. Now, see, they have their own type of uh, thing right here. Where you can actually write your own notes. So if you don't want to, you know, if you like drawing it, you can just write, as you see there, I just wrote hey, my name. And then, you know, it's kind of hard to do. Then I can write, you know, whatever. Uh, try this again. Hi. So obviously it's not the best writing, but hey, it does a good job for just that. And this is my, your trash. So you can write notes like that. And hang on, let me scroll back up here. And you can empty your trash, obviously. Now this is all synced among accounts. So I have this on my SSD as well. And um, when I go to my SSD and I click synchronize or you know whatever, it loads up the account. It brings up all these other notes. Obviously I don't want to go too far down because I have some important notes over here that have important information that I can't show you just yet. So, um, remember everything, obviously. And what's really great, uh, it does a great job searching. So if you have a lot of notes, a lot of stuff scattered around, not just little text, but pictures, videos, whatever, you know, links, whatever. Now let's see, uh, for example, you see that word that says triple nerd score on your shirt. Now, this can search within pictures, not just little text or whatever. So if I was to type in nerd, because I was looking for something, and I would hit enter, and it should... It brings me to here, and obviously it finds the word right there. Control click to view it, and then I'll bring it up in the browser. So, if you want to do that, but as you see here, it does find that word specifically. Uh, another example that says Wisconsin cheese. Let's see if it can find that hundred percent that's hidden in there. So it tries to find the closest, or type in cheese. And as you see there, it says Wisconsin cheese. So it can search within text. And um, even if you, uh, you can even recognize handwriting with images. So what it means by that, that's handwritten. If you take a picture, let's say you have your iPhone, you have whatever. You need to remember something. You need to remember what the title of a drink or, you know, movie, whatever it's called. Take a picture of it real quick. Uh, send it up to Evernote if you have your phone. And then you can search it. So let's say you have a whole bunch of notes. And it says within is one of the words. And it recognizes handwriting. So really, really cool thing. Now, that's just, for, you know, again, it's for Mac and Windows, so that's a desktop client. You can also go on the web and do the same thing. It's pretty much a little different interface, but uh, pretty much the same features. Make your notes, etc., etc. And mobile phone, if you have your mobile phone, they even have a new iPhone interface. You can do the same stuff, send it over, send it around, access your notes, stuff like that. Now, what's the web clipper? The web clipper is really, really cool, and it integrates into your browser, whatever. I'm pretty sure whatever browser you're using once you download it. Now, for example, let's say I'm browsing the web, wherever, you know, at a friend's house, on my laptop, or something like that. And I see, uh, these are uh, some headphones I have bookmarked, because I'll be getting these in the near future. But, anyway, uh, the Sennheiser's RS110s. Now, these are really cool headphones, wireless headphones. And, um, you know, let's say, oh, I, you know, want to save this, buy it later, I don't want to really bookmark it, but put it in my Evernote. That way, 
let's say for example uh, I go out to the store and I have my phone or whatever with me and um, you know I, I can't remember if these are the headphones I see them at the store and I can get them cheaper or whatever so I go to my phone and you know access my Evernote and can see the pictures and everything now uh, that's where the Evernote clipper comes in handy so let me make sure it is enabled I'm pretty sure I enabled it okay I'm making sure now I have to go find where the button is and I'm pretty sure that got hidden in here so let me just one second here navigation toolbar or not where's the button the button is missing for Evernote one second here okay so what it does it puts this little web button where you can clip it and then paste it off to your uh, Evernote uh, desktop or you know I'm even sure you can do it on the web version so just give me one second here to find the button okay sorry I had to add the button in my bed okay so here's the button and okay so uh, I'll see oh you know I'm skimming through to find that and I click the button and it says you have to select obviously so I'm gonna select you can make the whole entire page whatever now I'm gonna select the image and not only that I'm gonna shift and try and get this review right here actually no maybe I'll just get the image plus the original pricing don't want to really get those try not to get those links but also get the pricing up. yeah I'll get this main image and then shift oh, yeah, see it's, this thing hates me it's not working okay then no no I always mess up okay one more try <laughs> so as you see I'm just trying to get that image plus the text but it's being a pain trying to highlight all this stuff Okay, now I have no idea. I just did some weird stuff now. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, sorry. Let me just refresh the page here. Okay, there you go. Okay, I'm just going to grab that, and then I'm going to hit the clip button. And it's going to clip it, and there it is. It pastes it right out to my Evernote. Paste the picture with the image viewer, obviously. Original price, the one I, much I can save, and the various images, but obviously it's not going to scroll through them this isn't you know new egg but you can control or control double click it to access it or just double click it all together and it'll bring it up in a browser access on your phone so you know just get important information like that and it'll say if it needs to be sunk uh synced uh into evernote's cloud or versing synchronized and it'll throw it out to the uh you know their servers or whatever and then you can access it anywhere so I'm just going to delete that note now so it comes in handy for a lot of things you can print stuff tag stuff email stuff and so it's a really, really powerful note application. Now, again, the, the uh, cover to com the question computer only. No, it's not limited to only the computer. It's limited, you know, to mobile phone. It uh, has Mac and Windows. Access it from your iPhone. Uh, pretty much anything, any device that you have can access the internet. Uh, tr you can probably access Evernote from there. And then the Web Clipper just installs right into your browser once you install Evernote. Very, very uh, great searching. Abilities built into the uh, application. Very neat interface. Works great. And if you really find yourself, you know, really adding a whole bunch of notes and a lot of stuff and using the internet a lot, constantly bookmarking pages and you want to just use Evernote, you may want to look into getting the uh, uh, membership accounts. Uh, I may consider that because Evernote's a really, really great application. So, yeah, guys, I would highly give it a 5 out of 5. It has a lot of cool features that I, even, I haven't even gone over. So you can head there over to their site at evernote.com, I believe. Let me double check that. Yeah, it is evernote.com, E-V-E-R, note.com. Uh, again, I don't know if it's for Linux, but Mac and Windows and uh, your phone all in the cloud. So yeah, guys, thanks for listening. Uh, hope you enjoyed, and don't forget to check out our site at www.adriansetech.com and tutgeek.com, as well as weurl.com. Lots of sites there. Anyway, guys, if you have any questions, concerns, comments, video requests, send them over to adriansetech at gmail.com. Thanks.